Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at various uh, keyboard types that Titanium offers in their uh, Titanium Accelerator code. Now, uh, if you've been using uh, iPhone, iPad or an Android phone, you've noticed that if you're uh, going on to a text field where you have to write in a URL or uh, if you're going into a text field where you're only writing numbers or even an email address, uh, you might notice that the URL, the keyboard for it uh, slightly differs. So if it's a URL, it might have this like a .com button at the end or at the bottom. If it's for an email, it might have uh, an app mark. Yep, and if it's if you're only uh, writing numbers inside or add, putting numbers inside, it might be a normal one to nine a keyboard instead of the QWERTY one. So uh, we are going to be looking at various keyboards in Titanium. Okay, so for starters, uh, before I do anything, I uh, let me just quickly say that I've written most of the, I think all of most, if not all of the uh, titanium keyboard types, titanium.ui.keyboard underscore and various types of them as a comment over here. Okay, so let's quickly create a window. So uh, var win equals ti.ui.create window uh, with background color of uh, white. Like so. Okay, and underneath that we are going to be creating a text field. So var text field equal tie.ui.create text field. And uh, it's going to be about 75. Yeah, 75 pixels from the top, not too low. Uh, 60 pixels, about 300 pixels. And hint text, actually, yeah, hint text is going to be uh, this is a default keyboard and uh, board border style yeah let's write shine I'm going to write border style before the hint text because I'm not going to be changing that border style is going to be tie dot ui dot input underscore border style underscore I think I've uh, briefly touched on the border style property in Titanium in my text field video. I think it's the 14th or 15th one when I was creating a simple form. Uh, so if you forgot about board, uh, border scale, it's basically how the text field border looks. By default, there's nothing inside. You can make it rounded, you can make it all the other stuff. Uh, check out the API docs if you're interested. And the hint text is the hint, the slightly grayed out uh, text that gets displayed and disappears when you focus onto that specific text field. It just aids the user, and it tells them uh, what you are advised, what you are to type in there, like numbers, I don't know, email address, or username or password, and so on. Okay, so the last one is keyboard type. Yep, and that is tie dot ui dot uh, what's the, oops, and the default one is tie.ui.keyboard underscore default. So we are going to be using the default one. Okay, and let's just do win dot add text field and win dot open. So there's not going to be any uh, what do you call it? event listeners or buttons or anything, we're just going to be looking at keyboards. So I'm going to save my work and open in the iPhone simulator. And apparently it's building before launch, so I'll come back when I've done. Okay, so we have uh, a text field which has a hint text, so this is the default keyboard which will disappear if I click on this text field. And we have a border which is around it, so if I click on it, there we go, and start writing on it, the text field is uh, the hint text disappears. So, uh, and this is the default keyboard type. It's the default one. It's nothing fancy. All you have is QWERTY and if you go bottom left you have this. I think it diff it's different on the Android version. So, uh, if you're using Android the basic layout might be slightly different. Okay, so I'm going to stop my simulator and going to look at which one shall I look at? The URL one. So this is a uh, keyboard 
or URL keyboard layout and the keyboard type is going to be tie.ui.keyboard underscore where is it gone web keyboard so underscore URL and let's save our work and I am going to run the iPhone simulator okay so if I touch my or if I click on my uh, what do you call it text field now it's going to come up with the keyboard layout for URL now at first it might look similar however if you go down here you have this dot a forward slash and dot com which is one of the most three common stuff you use when you are actually uh, writing a keyboard and I think if you focus on here if you click and uh, hold down you'll be able to have all these other ones .net, .edu, .org and .us and if you click on it it's just going to automatically write it for you okay so I'm going to close this again and I think I'll look at about I don't know how's the time going I'll look at one more just for the sake of it I'm going to look at uh, which one I think I'll look at the one for this is a uh, uh, number only one so number only keyboard layout so it's going to be the keyboard type is going to be uh, keyboard underscore I think decimal pad there we go decimal pad so decimal pad that's it and I'm going to run my iPhone simulator okay so I am going to focus or click on this and it's going to come up with the what do you call it the number only plus decimal a uh, keyboard layout for your iPhone for your smartphone or iPhone uh, you usually see this when you are I don't know inserting a phone number on zero seven eight six five four three two one or something like that and there's the usual backspace so yeah uh, that's the couple of uh, keyboard layouts in titanium uh, if you go to my comments over here if I remember, which I think I won't, I might do, uh, I'll put all this in the video description below. However, if you just go to the official API documentation and check it out, you'll be able to uh, see all of them and see them in action. Maybe I haven't checked, but some sometimes you'll see examples. But it's fairly obvious. Defaults, the default ASCII, the ASCII punctuation, number punctuation, numbers punctuation, and so on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.